morning everybody and welcome back to my channel my name is Faye and this is Fairy, Cla F Fairy Floss Creates a channel all about cross stitch and embroidery and art and design and other exciting creative crafty things I get up to um, so today I'm doing a little vlog because we're going on a little adventure we're going out to the fashion and textile museum in Bermondsey that's the same place that we went to for the CAFE set exhibition um, a couple of months ago. Um, so we have been there before, but it's an Andy Warhol exhibition. I don't know a great deal about Andy Warhol, so I'm hoping to learn quite a lot today. And um, yeah, I thought it'd be nice to do a little vlog, take you with me to enjoy the exhibition. So off we go. Okay, so before we go to the museum and we go and look at the Andy Warhol prints, I thought I would have a quick look on the internet and find out a little bit more about Andy Warhol. Because um, all I really know him for is his um, Campbell soup prints and the Madonna prints and like some of his pop art stuff. So I thought, you know what, I should probably read up about him a bit more before I go and see his exhibition. So um, he was born on the 6th of August 1928 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Many people think that he was born and bred in New York, but he wasn't. It was Pennsylvania. He was born to Slovakian parents and he did spend most of his life in New York. Um, however, he died in February, February the 22nd, 1987. He was only 58. He died from gallbladder problems and he was buried next to his parents in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. There is still, well, there is still, there is a museum there. Um, where you can see a lot more of his work, um, which I think is pretty exciting. That would be a really interesting thing to go and visit. One day I will get to Pennsylvania and go and see the Andy Warhol Museum. So, five fun facts. Number one, although he is known for his pop art, he was actually a classically trained artist. It was actually his mum that um, got him into art. When he was eight, he got some form of strep and ended up bedridden and his mum gave him a paintbrush and taught him how to draw just to give him something to do whilst he was um, sick. Um, number two, fact number two, I knew Molly would come to this video. Um, he calls his studio the factory. Um, I'm going to have to move my paper. I'm trying to discreetly read from a piece of paper but I can't because the cat's in the way. He called his studio the factory and it did become a really famous place for celebrities to come and meet and he did paint works for Mick Jagger, Diana Ross and for John Lennon. Fact number three, he was a hypochondriac. He hated hospitals, he hated doctors, he didn't want to go there. Fact number four, I like this one, he collected cookie jars. He had an enormous collection of cookie jars and after he died, um, all his cookies, all the cookie jars on his estate went to Sotheby's and they sold for £250,000, which is must be quite a good collection of cookie jars. And number five, whilst um, Marley's here, although he wrote two books about cats, um, he was actually a dog lover as well. He had a sausage dog called Archie. I say dog and Marley walks away. Um, he had a sausage dog called Archie did lots of work around Archie and he also had a fondness for pugs. So yeah, that is my little, my little factoids about Andy Warhol in a nutshell. And now it's time to go and have a little look at the museum.
Hey there, so I'm back home now. Uh, what a lovely day it is today. We've had a really, really lovely sunshiny day out and about in London. It's been about 29 degrees, which for the UK is like well hot. Um, so yeah, it's been really nice, a bit warm, but yeah, we had a really, really nice time at the Fashion and Textiles Museum. Met up with my friend Caroline there as well. So you may see her, her on a couple of the videos there. Um, and it was it was really interesting. Um, we've I've been to quite a few exhibitions there at the um, Fashion and Textiles Museum. Um, I'm not sure if that was as good as some of the other ones I've been to. There didn't seem to be as much stuff there but maybe that's all they could have got hold of for this because obviously he wasn't really known for his prints as much he was known mostly for his um pop art his prints were quite early on in his career his illustrations and it's so cool like i love the way he uses really everyday things like ice creams and um fruit and Re just really fun stuff, boots and socks, and turns them into prints that people then develop into clothes and curtains and home interiors. Like, I love it. I think that would be such a cool thing to have in a house. Um, A lot of it, I love, if you've seen any of my clothing, I do love a good print. Um, I have got, got quite a nice little parrot print on today. Um, Yeah, I do. I love my prints. I've always loved my prints. And... um. Yeah, it was really inspiring for me to actually go and see that and look at all the different kind of prints that Andy Warhol has designed. So yeah, it was a really, really nice um, exhibition. Um, took us about half an hour or so, just over. Half an hour to 40 minutes. Um, it's a great fashion textile museum. It's not a massive museum. There's only two floors. And... It would be so nice if it was a bit bigger and there was something that was there, like a permanent display that was there all the time. Because um, you end up only really going twice a year because there's only ever two exhibitions on a year. So, yeah, I'd love to be a member of that and be able just to rock up whenever I want because I, I might go back again and, you know, do some drawings and sketches of some of it, the um, things in there. But that's it's going to cost me. I think it was... £12 each to go so yeah you know it's it's a little bit dear for the size of the museum but at the same time you are looking at amazing pieces of art so you know it swings and roundabouts we're very privileged in London that most of our um, museums and galleries are free and you only ever really pay if you want to see a specific exhibition but like the Victorian Albert, the v &A, that's completely free. National Portrait Gallery, National Gallery, they're all free, Tate's free. Um, you're only paying for the extras. So yeah, I think that is one of the best things about living in London, actually, is we have a lot of free stuff. Um, so it was a wonderful um, day out. We met, had a mooch around the exhibition, obviously went to the gift shop, and of course I bought some nice things. So... I've not got a great deal of haul to be honest. Like, um, the book, the guidebook for the show was about thirty pound, and um, oh, it's gorgeous, but I can't invest in that at all. That's quite expensive. But what I did buy was this really cute little book about Andy Warhol. Um, I love this. I think it's such a nice size. Lives of the artists, Andy Warhol. Um, I don't know who the publisher is actually. Lawrence King Publishing. Um don't really know them. Lovely little hardback. Um like a just like a miniature biography really about him. So I bought that and thought it'd be really nice to read and learn a little bit more about him. Um I was really inspired actually. Um obviously I'm doing my hand embroidery course and was just thinking that maybe Andy Warhol is a pretty good um person to study next time I have to do a study so we shall see if I do do that here we go here's Marley honestly you can't keep off these videos at the moment so see you later everybody and then because I didn't buy the gift what was it the um guidebook and um, because it was quite pricey I bought some postcards instead I got oh, here's my tail thank you Marley 
Right, so I'm just going to give him a shove. There we go. Oh, gentle shove. And I got the really cute ice cream one. I do like that one, especially on a summer's day like this. It was like definitely to be had. This is all like garden. Um, that is so blurry. I, got, I don't know if I can get that into focus. Um, <laughs> no, I cannot. And um, that's all garden things like garden tools that's the word i'm looking for like watering cans and trowels and spades and rakes and flowers that's really cute and then the last one i got was probably one of my favorite prints because i just love the colors of these these are like my colors um it's all bugs and butterflies and creepy crawlies again i can't zoom in but yeah it's really fun and then not andy warhol but every time i go to the Fashion and Textiles Museum. I always come back with a Sarah Campbell souvenir. She does these really beautiful designs. And this one's Coffee Breaks. So this is a nice little um, bookmark to go in one of my one of my few books that I own. So, yeah, thank you for coming with me today. Um, really, really enjoyed the day out. It was absolutely lovely. Went for some lovely lunch afterwards in Bermondsey. And then for the rest of the day, we headed over to... West Hampstead had a little mooch, didn't film. It was way too, it was too hot um, to film much today. It was absolutely baking. And then we just got back home and caught up on The Walking Dead. When I say caught up, we're up to series three. So, you know, we're just, we're just plowing through it. Um, so the next exhibition that's on is, oh, the Andy Warhol exhibition is on from, well, now until the 10th of September this year. So if you do fancy, if you do want to go and see it, um, then it is on until the 10th of September. After that, they have a little break. And then the next exhibition is called The Fabric of Democracy. Um, and that starts on the 29th of September. And that goes on until March next year. And it's all about propaganda textiles um, from over two centuries. So that'll be a really, really interesting one. It says there's textiles from Britain, America, Italy, Germany, Austria, um, war robes, cultural revolution, lots of different things. So that could be, that will be a really interesting exhibition. So I'm pretty sure I'll take you along to that one as well. So... If you have enjoyed this video, then please let me know. Please like and subscribe. And if there's anything else you'd like me to go and see in London and take you with me, if you live a long way away, um, I hope you do enjoy me taking you on these little trips to places that you might not be able to visit yourself because I absolutely love going on them. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if there's anywhere else you'd love me to visit. I'm happy to. I work in a school. I'm very blessed to have six weeks off every summer. I would love to dedicate those six weeks to doing really fun things for you on this channel. So yeah, just let me know where you want me to go and I will do that. So um, I'm clocking off now. It's been an absolutely lovely day. Keep smiling, keep stitching, keep creating and just enjoy the weekend. Have a really, really lovely time. See you soon. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.